What's good y'all, John D. Saunders here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to migrate all of your blog, resource, content from a CMS like WordPress or Wix or Squarespace to Webflow. This is basically a free way to do it. You can use the software that we're gonna show you and get it done in record time. Let's go ahead and dive in y'all. refresher on redirects and the way they work is they're preferable for search engines and users now let's say you have an old website and you have a new website and you're doing a site rebrand let's say the site is google.com now what happens is you have the old website which a URL might be google.com forward slash services and now when your new site redesign you have google.com forward slash our dash services now what's gonna happen is when you publish that new website with that change URL, it's going to cause a 404 error in the search engines. Meaning the old content is already indexed, it's already shown on Google, so if someone clicks that link, and they go back to that old link, what'll happen is they'll get a 404 error. So the search engine will look at that like, okay, this page keeps giving the user a 404 error, they're bouncing, but let's de-index this page since it's not important to the consumer. It's not giving them the content that they need. And what can happen a lot of times is you'll have an old site that's, that looks terrible, it's arbitrary, but has great organic rankings. And now you have this new beautiful site, but all the URLs have changed. And now it causes this chain reaction for all of your organic traffic to literally decrease overnight. So I wanna walk you through this quick process with a additional couple of free tools to help you convey this, get it across, and migrate your old site when you rebrand or update a website. So I did wanna show you a visual of what that looks like. Here's the old page and here's the redirect. So first thing you wanna do is, I, I created a quick training here. First thing you wanna do is download uh, Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is a free software that allows you to pull all the, the data, all the mine data on your website. So it'll pull all your internal URLs, external security, your H1s, your H2s, your meta descriptions, basically all of that SEO data from a website for free up to 500 pages. They have a premium service that costs you know a little bit more, but you can do up to 500 pages for free. Most, pay, most sites in your case are probably gonna be under 500 pages. Now, once you have that downloaded, you're gonna open the program, drop your URL right in here, and then you're gonna hit start. And what it's going to do is it's gonna pull all those URLs. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click internal, and then export. And then when you export that CSV file, just import it into a Google Sheet like I have here. Now, once you have it in a Google Sheet, you're gonna put old address here, and you're gonna put new address here, so you know where they're at. And then what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of the main URL because you don't need it. All you need is anything past the forward slash. So I'm just gonna highlight all this. I'm gonna do Command F. I'm gonna type in the URL, as y'all can see here, www. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit these three buttons, replace with that and hit done. Um, let's see, looks like that didn't work, but let me try again. <laughs> so let's try again, HTTPS. Okay, and then we're gonna do www.54digital.com. Okay, now I'm gonna hit this, and I'm gonna do replace with, and good. So all of those are replaced. Um, done. So you can see all those URLs are just have the, the, the second URL, right? Um, so what you're going to do is let's say this case study or let's say the blog is going to change to blogs. So we're just going to put here, we're going to put forward slash blogs. And then just for all the new addresses for your new site build out, you're going to add in this column. Now before we would have to do this manually or we would have to do some type of JSON file upload, which is pretty much a nightmare. But one amazing thing, well not one, one of many amazing things that uh, the team at FinSuite has done is actually created an extension that allows you to do a bulk update of all your 301 redirects. So first thing you wanna do is grab the FinSuite extension. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and post that link below as well. You can get it right here. Once you install that, it's gonna add a whole bunch of new attributes to your Webflow designer. So when I'm in the designer and I go to projects and I go to settings under hosting and I scroll down, this is where you add your 301 redirects. So again, if we have forward slash blog and it changed to forward slash blogs, I can just add the old path and the redirect path here and hit add redirect and it'll add that instantly. Then I just need to publish the site. So as you can see, I only have one redirect here. It's from work to case studies. Now. What 
Fin Suite has done is when you install the extension, it's going to add this really cool bulk import button here. So I'm going to hit bulk import. Now what you'll need is the CSV template, which is really super simple. This is what it looks like. It's download. Um, whoops, that's not the right one. Download. Okay, here it is. And you can see it says path, target path, and then old URLs, and then new URLs. And that is pretty much it. So what I can do is I can grab that. Whoops, lost it again. Sorry, y'all. It's, it's been a crazy week. <laughs> so I'm going to drop that in here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drop it in here. And then I'm just going to use that. And then you can just copy all your UR old URLs to your new URL. So I'm just going to do open with Google Sheets. And um, you can just copy the paths. But I'm just going to do it here where I'm going to do slash blog slash blogs. And then I'm just going to hit file. Um, where is it? Download as a CSV. That's done. And then I can just go back here and I can drag my CSV file back to where did I put it? Here we go. Blog and blogs. Now you can see the old path is blog. The new path is blogs. And I can hit upload. And then it says success failed. Okay, it's probably because of a specific. Okay, let's do download failed redirects. Probably because the old path is not public. But ultimately, what you're going to do is you're going to have the old path here, the new path here, and then I can see what why that failed. Blog is already a page for this product. Okay, so that's probably why. So I'm just going to do another one. Where we're going to do the old one is let's say service and the new one is services because the old path probably because it's not showing there so that's probably why it's not coming up there we're going to do csv okay and then we're going to import it here so i'm going to do bulk import grab my file grab the desktop then i'm just going to go here i'm going to hit drag I'm going to grab my file here. It says service to services upload. It says one successful done close. As you can see, it's going to refresh and then reload it right here. Oh man, you guys don't understand how huge this is. This is a painstaking process, especially when you have bigger websites. This process just made it so much easier. Then you're just going to hit drop down and publish and you are ready to go. And that's it, y'all. That's it to set up your 301. So when you're starting a project, when you're working on a project, make sure that you set up all your URLs. Start the process as soon as you bring the client on. Create a Google Sheet to make sure you're recording all that data and information. And I guarantee that you'll have a great and successful launch. Thank you all for checking out the video. It's much appreciated. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we appreciate every single comment and like that we get. I will see y'all next week. In the meantime, peace.